Yo, I'm not even going to do a Matthew Heimbach impression because all you fucking trad worker party leader Nazis, your fucking leader is a wife beater and he cheats on his fucking ancestral Matthew Parrott's fucking wife affair. This is like, dude, he's 26 years old and like he is such a power monger that he thinks he has the ability to go and fuck his uh, not his wife who is basically Matthew Parrott's sister. It's like levels of fucking hillbilly country incest mixed with like dude like it was like that one documentary you saw at the mainstream media said where you know are they really giving food out to poor white people or is this just like a preening contest so they can get Nazi clappers who do this? Yo, whatever happened to Thomas Buells? Remember Tom, you, B- Thomas Buells and Fuck Your Modernity? Tim Vaz, full of lies. Remember that? I don't know. Some of these like bumfuck Estania, like, m- like middle class white people are like so bumfuck. It's like, I don't know. And this might be the crown of bumfuck um, power. You know, this is only two steps away from Richard Snetzer coming out as a coke addict. It's only two steps away. Three, I, I don't know. I mean, fuck all you normie alt-right cult faggots for believing Heimbach was a god because he's a fucking wife beater and a fucking liar and cheater. And now he's in jail for... <laughs> and, uh... You know, as much as I would like to do a Matthew Heimbach impression, and I sincerely liked Matthew Heimbach. I sincerely looked up to him as a role model and as this guy. But now it's like, this this guy, he's not a Christian. He's not this thing. He's like this fucking kid who like jerks off the kitty porn and has fucking weird brain problems so he fucking autistically argues for her national socialism and pretends he's a member of PSL that that's how kooky this kid is he'll have autistic sargon of a cod tier arguments in the street with other lefties which are interesting but if it boils down to getting a fr- he couldn't get any girl so he fucked a friend's girl and had two kids with them Pretending this old William Pierce white utopia shit, right? And he does that, and then he cheats on his wife and beats his wife and beats Matt Parrott. Matt Parrott has to go away and start Hooser Nation over again and writes all this Christian shit. I, I already knew these motherfuckers were crazy since Voice of Reason Radio Network. I remember when Matthew Parrott was uh, with Matt Connor. Matt Connor, by the way, lost his shit and the whole program went down. But... Yo, they're, they're all these old right archetypes. Like, I don't even think tra- traditionalist worker party was anything to do with primordial, like, traditionalism, capital T. It was just this, like, weird, sincere national socialism of just, like, you know, it's the next Adam Waffen, the next satanic Nazis. So I-, I don't know what to make of that, but that just shows you who your leadership is. The lesson to learn today for all your little alt-right faggots, is that there, your, your plastic god is like this fucking liar, this fucking wife beater. And that's what, that's what uh, you should be skeptical at fucking everyone who's like your fucking fashy uh, anti-SJW whatever, okay? If these were authentic, legitimate, real people, they would honestly say, yeah, I beat my wife like a rapper. Like little Uzi Vert or XX Tashion or like any like little pump rapper out there. These guys could be awesome SoundCloud rappers, but they're not. They're just some guys that sell you images and just clap at those weird T- TWP rallies. And Matthew Matthew Raphael Johnson, who's um was an old uh, Voice of Reason Radio Network and just betters on about uh, how the left is ruining everything and stuff like that and um but yeah my other favorite part was when matthew when matt parrot fell when he got really angry at unite the right yes the dirt the dirt and he like fell on his back yo talk about power mongering matt parrot has identity issues he does 
Like, I remember Hooser Nation, and he just wore his white hat, and he was a libertarian hat. Then he dressed it all black and got goth, and let, and, like, let Matthew Heimbach rape his sister so he could, like, form this William Pierce union, and now it boils down to this. Like, he is not a good character to look after to now, Matt Parrot. you know? I didn't even think, that nigger wanted me to put me in a fucking oven, okay? That, he wanted me to put me in an oven... Because I I said stuff about gay yaoi men and sucking gay yaoi men dick off, which I was unapologetic about. And he wants to throw me in an oven. Okay. This guy's got identity issues. He's basically like a high school mentality faggot who never grew out of that. And, yo, he's just looking for attention whoring. Matthew Heimbach. And for Heimbach, he's just stuck in college. He's just stuck in fucking college thinking he's some world leader the like he's a fucking snowflake that's what i'm saying he's a fucking snowflake just grow the fuck up okay go to fuck up heimbach you you you, you whore and whore and whore and now you're in fucking jail great great job great fucking job um anything else i want to say um not really i mean i don't really i i don't really know that much people of twp most TW people I know are just like ex neo Nazis and skinheads and trying to reamp it. Uh, that's all I know about them, and they're mostly Midwest. But uh, for I mean, I'm just a little mad because I did look up to their aesthetic and I looked up to their funny aggro shit. But now it's like it, it, it's fucked. They're fucked. They're 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 fucked. Like I'm not apologetic. I am not apologizing. They're just fucked people. And they're all fucked. And anybody associating with TWP is a fuck who listens to skinhead music and mice trap distribution. And they're all fucked. And, uh, yeah. Any second now, we're going to see Spencer snorting coke and fucking Rosie Gray. That's the next step. It's going to go down. Tick tock. Blow up the world. Jim Carrey the Joker. <laughs>